right now they are with the Russian is me. One of the biggest producers of them in a dancer right now. One of the artists in them right now, is me. Somebody I know internationally, is it and enough things are going around him. Who do you name right now? What does they have to ask? So them want to ask you. What inspire inspire you to bring back the Go-Go Club with him? Um well you know, it's something I did always want to do because, to be honest, it's, it's literally my favorite rhythm I ever built for dancehall. And um, most of my rhythms, I feel over the years, has always been kind of futuristic. And I feel like that was the right one. And the timing did right. I also saw, you know, people reacting, it, reacting to it on TikTok. And that just showed me the rhythm still current. So you mean the TikTok relevance inspired you? No, 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 I already, I already had that idea. It's just coincidentally, I saw it on TikTok that also sealed the idea. So why inspire the name change? So where you get the idea of the name from? From Go Go Club to Dirty Money? Yeah, because really and truly, even though I didn't know people was going to compare the old to new, for who didn't know, I, I never really want the young youth them have the pressure that because, you know, the internet stay, them going to always compare, oh, the old better than the new, and oriente and also it was like a rebrand you know like a reinvention um get the youth them a new run and yeah so i felt like dirty money was is, is something what we see in the strip club you know so it's still off of it so what like who, who are your favorite track you produced on it so far why i don't really have a favorite still you know um i do listen to the Raja and the niji boy the most right now or uh, and Nigeria, yeah, yeah no actually, and Nigeria, fat, fat. So, I don't really have a favorite okay, right now. Top three. Yeah, I would say that's my top three right now. It depends on the mood. You don't know, like, some days I feel to listen to uh, one type of vibe, next day, something else. What was the last submission on it? The last person, to be honest, <laughs> I don't even know. It's so much, it's too much. Here, here, the mess up things, in. If I cut it off, the man will say, yo, you're a gatekeeper, you're not going to use them the shot. But when we get used to them the shot, I must say, yo, I'm too much now. So it's just kind of hard to find a, a balance yeah. in between. You don't know, because we don't want to stop my youth, but it's still kind of have a limit because at the end of the day, we can't make them water down my product. But, yeah, yeah. but there's international artists from Latin to Afro to American to UK that's reaching out for the rhythm to be a part of it. I think those will be the final ones, you know, because it's not really full dance hall, but it's, it's the inspiration of the rhythm and the, the, how powerful the rhythm is moving right now. So I think them, them people there will be the last. So what are your thoughts from the Jada and the Steph War right now? Boy, that's a woman business to be honest, you know. I see the internet I blame me for it, but to be real. You never have nothing to do with that. Huh? Nah, dog. Uh, first of all, think about this. Oh, me as a man, going to get involved in two women business, what they have nothing to do with me, they might fight, them, not fight, but they might argue over a total different man. You see me? So, it's just, it's just, it's just coincidentally it happened on my rhythm. And uh, you don't know them people are going to blame me for it, but so it go. But what, you know, what runs through your mind when Steph sent the first track on the reading? Are you hear the lyrics and list it? You still authorize it? No, here we're going. Here we're going, see? Steph, if you check the preview, Steph never said her name, you know. She did just, it was general. But the internet run with it now. And I guess Jada replied, so. If you check the second version, she mentioned Jada's name in there. You know, um, up to now, I'm not getting the files for that song. So, in terms of arranging or touching it up, I never really have a, a hand in that. Well, you're not it, complaint, so. No, you don't know. I'm not getting involved in a woman business, you know. So, it does one like recently, you know, Skipper say, you have push 40 and see him kind of like get, get keep thing. And well, ah, you are going. First of all, I'm going to comment. The skipper thing, I, I don't even know who skipper is, to be real. Generally, I, never know who no, I, I generally, like, bro. See, I have some comments that say, if you know Nigeria, you must know skipper. No, I swear. I swear, I don't know. I don't even know them have a song. You see me? Uh, and it's not a styling thing. If I don't know you, bro, you know much people who don't know me? 
You know, if you if you go through life feeling like everybody know you, you're wrong. Because big as it, yeah, I can go places and see Drake, and some people don't know who Drake is in some part of the world. Yeah, yeah. Middle East, all of these places. But no, I don't know. I, I didn't know him was. But the fact of the matter is, him come out styling the whole rhythm. And then I think I saw something with Jay Frey post that he must say, him said that because we now voice him. But the thing is, if. if so, skip or ask for reading? Him, no, because I didn't know him once. But apparently, while when I saw that come out, yeah. somebody sent me on my team a DM that. Oh, so you got a, you got a DM from Skipper's team? No, no, yeah, Skipper's team DM my boy. His Skipper's manager asked him for the rhythm. So really and truly, Skipper was really trying to be a part of the rhythm. But I guess, true, he never get the response from him like right away, which I don't even think the man him said no, or I never even said no. Him just go against the grain and want this, me and the rhythm. You see me? So, um, yeah, the youth, them, it, 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 if the man them want to be a part of the thing, we all can link up, you know, but at the end of the day, it's, you know, for this me, because I never this you, I never this no you, you see me? But me not, I'm not really too free that still. So you feel like there's still a chance of Skipper being part of Dutty Money with him? No. Like, no chance? No, no never. You can't come this the, the, the You can't come this the thing where I feed me and all of them new youth who are bus artists who are help people career and then me for support it. That, that, that not going to work. Me is a man who stands on principles, you see me? So no, never. Never will be a part of it. And I him choose that, and never me. Um, recently, see a post go around uh, with a popcorn. That say yo, he make a comment on a post and I say never get it. Like I never authorize I believe now. Nah. For popcorn? Ah, <laughs> uh, with that situation there, eh? it's not much to say still, but. On the last go go pro video, which song you say was your favorite or the biggest song? For you? The last original one. I never have a favorite still. All of them did different. I did like all of them. You see me? Every single one of them. And bigger, um, I don't know. It, you know. It's hard to measure which song bigger than other because you have a song that would maybe stream more than the next song, but one, one more impactful culturally. Like the Cartel song literally changed the game of talking about the, the, the certain topic in dancehall where, where, um, certain sexual stuff are more accepted now because of that song with the, the whipped cream line and all in something. So it feels of a rhythm. They create probably say over 14 years ago. Yeah. It's still relevant that the music now you think, right? The music. Um, it, it feels good. It feels good. But I feel like music, art, life, everything is a cycle. Fashion, what was popping 10 years ago, come back around again. Music, same thing, everything recycle. It have to, it's just, it's, it, it have to go on. So I feel like music reached at a place where it, it, it's the year to recycle a lot of stuff. And recycling, I don't want a man to take it like you don't have, you're not creative anymore. So because, yeah, you, because at the end of the day, it's not lazy. I work every day. It's just a matter of seeing the timing and executing it because I could, uh, Redo this whole rhythm and it never work. But I pick the right artists, I pick the right songs, I arrange the songs the right way, I roll it out the right way. And I would say 95% of dancehall fans and new fans happy with the product. So this guy, I know like you're an international producer right now. And you start off in a dancehall scene you know, years ago. Yeah. It's even like even everything we accomplished so far in your career, you know? Yeah. Locally and internationally. This motivated that like this right of, now. Of course. You know, like seeing what you put, when you put work into something and you see it get the um the benefits and the rewards, it always feels good. No matter how small it is. You see me? Um not saying dance all is small, but at the end of the day, I'm doing this to help the culture. To rebrand it, I felt like it was needed. Um, and yeah, it feel good same way. I'm excited. I'm excited to link the man them with the international man them. 
and, and that going on right now, it worked. Everything we said did work. Because we talked to you about eight months ago on camera and tell you say anybody who record on this rhythm is a free hit. And it happened. And all of the international artists them recognizing the rhythm and want a part of it. And that helping the culture. You see me? It's kinda like the first is ever happening. So when we just say all about the international acts are reach out, that means so we can see more life to this rhythm other than Yeah, the but we're not gonna drag it out. You don't know probably like one in each region. So one for the Afro, one for Latin, one for US, one for UK, Europe side. Uh, yeah. So what are your thoughts on the new generation of dancehall arts? With Nigeria them Raja while. Yeah, I feel like Nigeria Raja, the whole of the youth them are the future. And um them are good artists. They all are just the only thing I feel all of them artists them need grooming. Them just need people with experience for go around them and kinda point them in the way. Don't don't demotivate yeah, them, guidance. guide them. Show them, yo, this is the mistake, don't do it. Hopefully, hoping them, them listen. But the young youth, them are the future, dog. That's why I always embrace them. I must see comments from the internet who say, yo, oh, Russian only work with some man when them at or where. Well, well, enough of the time, people don't know enough of the work. Me and the artists, them are linked behind the scenes before we even work. What well, may I help them even with songs and things that don't have nothing to do with me? You see me? And and at the end of the day, means a businessman. You think I'm going to work? Want to work on something more cool? You see me? We have to work with the hot youths, then we have to also develop the youths, then. Yeah, exactly. It's an investment, it's a business. That's why it's called music business, not only the music. You see me? Music is, I would say music is only 30% and 70% of it is the business. Mostly, yeah. Mostly. Nowadays, right? Always. And that's why. To solidify your legacy, you have to realize there's a business, bro. The business is the most important part. Because you can have the big song, you can have... You can have the big song, you can have the looks and all of that, and the business is not right. Eventually, it can mash up. So I just forgot to use them and tell them. Help them. Um, I show them the way. Even, even if you're not involved, even if you don't sign a man, like, me, not, me never signed Skeng or nothing, but my rate Skeng. Skeng are yeah, good youth, and I've loved for Skeng. Right? Yeah. And up to now, you see me? Um, give him my role, all of that. That wasn't for signing. That's I just say, oh, you're my dog. I love what you do. Keep going, you see me? Relationship. Business and friendship, I'm a dog, man, you see me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the youth, them will connect with. Some of them are the straight music, and then some of them will connect on a personal level. So, what are your thoughts, man, like, how this like, this stuff? And the whole controversy with Tyler and Briscoe. Yo, people never know Briscoe, I'm a dog, you know. A long time, man, Briscoe did for do some work. Oh, you like, been have a link with Briscoe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been have a link with Briscoe, you see me? I just, um, I just time, really. You see me? Me and Briscoe have been a link. It's just that he did, he did get the rhythm from somebody on my team and do that and go. Out. And, yo, you have to understand, you have to know the internet. So was it a strategic move or it, uh, it wasn't a surprise? To, to be honest, to be honest, I didn't know him about the rhythm, but I didn't know him was getting posted, preview or not. I never hear the song. So when the world hear it, me hear it. And me see the first thing we do is me hear it, and we see the comments and him I beat him bad. That was, but, that was, which post that? Uh, um, I actually saw um Quest here post. <laughs> so oh. so I mean, see them I beat him on it and I said to myself, that's when I did the whole authorized thing. If if I oh so that's where really start from yeah that's where really start from, and I know so if I did trolling, it would have blow up and everybody would want to hear why Russian said that oh so that was like strategic move yeah it was it was strategy at the same point you know because me know say me know say if I did say that you have to know in life bad news always go further than good news yeah when the media especially for you yeah so if I did say that everybody can want to hear it now and then. If them say, yo, it's horrible, when them hear them, they say, oh, you know, it's not really that bad. I like it. You see me? So I just, I just have to understand how people and mine and the internet run. So it, it wasn't, it wasn't intentional. I mean, I never sit down and plan none of this. You see me? Even after it had gone, when it just got viral the first day, I link him and call him and say, yo, bro, link up where I shoot the video. So, yeah. So them time that me did shock when we see. Um, the youth come out and uh, diss me and all and something. So you thought some people saying that they're like a gatekeeper? Gatekeeper? Yeah. We, we show me the gate. Where the gate there? 
No, 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 yo, hear the thing, Zin. More than said maybe 40 years ago, gatekeeping in the music industry was more. No, the youths them don't need a gate. Bro, look, 30, the last 30 dancehall artists, them, them bust without no major producer. Them bust with just YouTube. And TikTok. and TikTok, no gate and dead there, bro. Once the youths them have talents and know if you work the internet, yeah, put in yeah bro. Like, so, and uh, uh, how, how me, if I keep gate and may I help Nine, Najiri, Skeng, uh, Raja, look, the blind youth, Niji boy. We never have to do that. Yeah, you see me? We never have to do that. Two. Me pick up, shoot the video, get all of that done, wardrobe, all of that. So I'm gonna know, bro. It's just people when them not get what they want, them going build a next story. But no gatekeeping there, eh? and no gate no there. That our music change. And not like one time when King Jam is there and Bounty and them and they are, I stand up outside of the studio, and wait for them time for going. The whole of the youth, some of them only could mic, mic and them laptop and a voice themselves. So gatekeeping, gatekeeping don't exist. Yeah, he's an artist, Nazir, as an example too. That's somebody who just have them own thing, him and YC. Them on this bus, pick that blow up and then just throw him in on his image. So, exactly. Right. Exactly. If, feel, or even Skin. Yeah, Skin. Yeah. Uh, most of these, as I said, we carry yeah, 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 most of the last man, them bus on them own. Look how, look how Valiant bus over, over a hand, a hat, a cap, what catch it at. Yeah, not gate, Which gate? You see me? The man jumped the gate. <laughs> so, there was even a certain artist. Where well, that's like, when you come out to the gatekeeping already, there was a certain artist where so, probably you really want to buy it so much at him. Come out and apologize to him. But whatever happened in the past? What do you think about that? Who, who you talk? Oh, Armani. Armani. Yo, here I go on the The whole Armani situation is. We never know who Armani was. Other than the, and it's not a styling thing. I just didn't know. The only song I knew. When him, like when him apologize to you? No, 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 no. I know. Ah, uh, here are. The whole situation is him and Nine have a uh, beef. A, a beef yeah. over that song, and the song I knew him for was that. So I never know him. I never meet him. We not have no ill intentions to the man. But one day, we see about ten people send me one live where must say some disrespectful thing towards me and I don't know the youth. You see me? What, whatever you and whatever you and nine did have to have nothing to do with me. You see me I'm not jumping on next man beef. But him did come involve me and say some things. And that's why in life I always say them things yo don't burn a bridge until you can build your own bridge. And the man them for just pre that because look where it comes circle back. That was six months ago and then now you want to be a part of the rhythm. You could have been a part of the rhythm if you never diss me. But you diss, you say some things what care about, what Pablo YG said, that care about. You see me? I'm a stand for my business, dog. A man diss me a certain way. I'm not going to necessarily diss you back. I'm just going to know, say, yo, you there over there? So you can't eat your food. I'm going to eat my food, but not at my table. I'll just say it, go. So there's no chance of I'm going to be on the table with either? No. So that's that's cool. <laughs> so you feel like enough support given to the new generation as we said earlier. Support from who? I think when it comes down to like you mentioned any guidance, right? So you feel like enough support. No, 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 no. There's not enough. Because here I go on. To be real, there's not enough support to the young youths. Because no. most of the young youths them right, because most of the young youths, their manager, yeah, are them little best friend. I'm not saying them can't, you know, can you put on your dog them, but to be management of your whole life. Like up to a certain level, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just you tell your best friend them, yo, go and learn it, and then rent him. We just we we we, we, we can put you maybe to a road your road manager or whatever. But to be your whole career, because the more money your real manager gonna make for you, him gonna make. Yeah. You see me? And decisions and experience and them thing there. And there's I don't feel like there's enough. Even elders, or not even elders, just older people in the music who even really know the music for guiding them and them. Because enough of them and them in my time still don't know nothing while going on in their music. They never know if you fill out a split sheet, they don't know nothing. Don't know the yeah, them even, them even need to know 
guidance. Them even need to know um, learn the thing themselves. So it's just a very small amount. And enough of the man who know the business, them um yo my Kevin, yo one girl with a big body right or something here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm focusing on the interview. But yeah, never for the, for the um, what did I say? Never the man them need more guidance. Yeah. I feel like I get enough support from you. So big producers like you, I'm most people that tend to say, yo, when I really tell you, them at them and running from them. I don't think about that. Here we're going. At the end of this, if you're a big producer, you can't know everything what's going on. Like, no big producer have the most time to just be, just once a man start clapping, man, oh, you're a fresh artist and just. You see me? Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, watch it now. Let me show you what made it distracted by people so they can realize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. Yeah. So, so you can see what made it distracted by. You know, say, no cap into me thing. You see what I'm going, right? <laughs> you see what I'm going. All right. So, there's no. All right. So, wait, that's the number, but G. <laughs> Yeah, as me I said, the, the young youth them, that mean the, the the big producer them, now gonna know everything going on hot. And it's just whenever you discover. At the end of the day, the man them for come out of that energy and just realize that at least the big producers are are embracing. Because you don't know you have the older man them or the big man them who just say, yo, oh. We not nah, we nah link with them, we don't like what them do and I scold them. It's better we just unite one way and just make, make the thing even bigger, you see me? Yes, uh, working with more young artists. Of course, dog. Right now, it's bare young artists where I look for, like, we show them the thing and help them, you don't know? Female, male and everything. Yeah. Yo, he's a man who work on dancehall, hip-hop, Afro, Europe, music, everything, Zin, Latin. But still, it it's hard for me for just be full on dancehall. But in the last few months, me get the strength. I just for the other man them forget the strength too. Cause me alone can't do it. You see me? Yeah, yeah. It's a good thing to that now, so you But yo, my always been. I mean, think about it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah my always. The past, the past, yeah, I mean, enough enough people don't know. Like, them some people don't even know. Most artists. Most artists work with in the past. Otherwise, some virus got them time. Man. So oh, everybody, cartel, conscience, um, Egyptian, Shampa, Shaggy, Beanie, Bounty, um, Movado, um, cartel, Rhino, yo, so Da Vinci. So I would work with Alkaline. Some people have to send that guy to read him. Uh, no, you know, I'm good over here, sir. Do you have any, do you have any, like, you think I'm not bringing back anymore, really? They say, Bogo was your favorite from the past year, period. Um, your favorite that you think bring back? No, I have one more in mind, you know. You see me? And it's, it's not even me, it's the people them again say it, and it turned in again. Why are you used to judge, judge it, and say this is the time? Ah, you know what's crazy? Sometimes I feel like I read the future, because, or I'm just show you some words on power, and brain manifestation is serious. Because enough of the time, if you ask, enough of the dog, them wrong me. Even you, me tell me, me what's it? Yo, I walk on. <laughs> yeah. Yo, um, enough of the time, them, me think about something and tell, like, my dog, them, and say, yo, all right, I want to do this. And we'll just see it start. Go on out into the atmosphere, like, the shit just start. Go so viral, pong. Yeah, yeah, just see, it's serious. Anything you put your mind to, you can do it with. Anything. So the next film you have in mind for you? We're not going to tell you. No, we're not going to tell nobody. You just have to... The whole film we carry is... We're not like count, count the egg them before you touch it. You know? So I need to take my time and make sure it's right. We're not going to rush it. This year though, right? Yeah. Because yeah, once me tell you and this year, then a bunch of pressure. I don't want to pressure. I want to take my time. Nah, so I'm going to take my time with the go-go club. Yeah. And then roll it out. Yeah. I like to do that. I miss enough of the fun that cost me. Yo, why this song not drop? Because them don't realize that, uh, yo, in two weeks, the fans them need for now we shoot seven music videos in three different countries. You almost know, traveling, money, logistics. Not only that, sometimes you want to shoot the video, my schedule don't match with the artist's own. Yeah. A bugger thing. 
or me and the artist are ready, but the director not ready. Enough things. Or, or we ready, the director ready, and it's a rain, and the concept needs sun. So the fans them just have to realize that we want the thing them drop as much as you know. But sometimes other circumstances. Yeah. Yeah, enough times, enough times it's enough times is politics, enough times is nothing. You know? Think of everything that you know. Everything that? A good twenty six minutes. Uh, yo, that runs fast. <laughs> if you like five minutes without that. It, it gets smooth. Yeah, smooth, yeah. yeah.